Well, howdy everybody. We have a Armies of Arcana battle report going on. Uh, we have the undead armies of the Necromancer on this side. We got our chariots. We got spearmen, crossbowmen, sneaky race, mm -hmm. swordsmen, and we got some cavalry with a catapult with some swordsmen there we got some pikemen more pikemen with archers swordsmen and some wraith cavalry parked over here now across the way we're facing off against the chaos demonic army which is lots of knights chaos knights and where is they can get some cav here something rather yeah some chaos cavalry right there you got a demon prince. Lord. Demon lord, that's your yeah, lord? Yeah, that's the lord. At your spell chucker? That's the boss. Is he the one with the spell chucker? Yep. All right. Chaos spells. Yep. Versus death spells. We'll just see what happens. And then more knights. And then here's some chaos cavalry knights. And lots more and more and more. And we add a little bit to the table here. We got some hedgerows and all that stuff. We used to be farmers. We don't need to eat anymore. But, you know, we have an army. Everybody's dying to join. It's bad. <laughs> All right, so what we have here is nine, basically 950 points. That's 950 points army right there. It's, what, about... You got 400 points wrapped up in your lord? Uh, About, yeah, 400. Yeah. And I got 350, I think, with mine. And I have, my troops are a lot cheaper than yours. About twice as cheap. Or even more than that, actually, I think. Is yours, what, 40? Well, the the Demon Knights, which is the infantry, are 30 points a unit. And then the Cavalry is 60 points. Yeah, so. And that, that's without any leadership or yeah. it's just straight. Because right now, we just have straight troops. And that's it. Nothing extra added into it other than I have the only thing I got different from you is I have a, a catapult and some chariots yep. over there. So, otherwise, everything is just standard troops. Like, I think my troops go for what 18, yours is 30. So, there is a big difference. A little more price here because you get that fixed save. I don't. Yep. Yeah. I'm basic cannon fodder. All right, so we diced off for who gets the initiative. I won, so but I decided to let you go first. Yep. All right. Alrighty. All right, we'll be back. Hey, everybody, here we go. It's end of turn one. Things have gotten a little interesting. We have the chariots are over here on the flank. We got everybody marched up. So the the the, bow, the crossbowmen here laid in some good fire into those uh, cab that are parked on the. Uh, rail fence there so they were slowed down enough that actually the accurate uh fire hit them pretty good the uh catapult launched a big rock over right here right there killed the guy <clears throat> and tried to catch it it didn't work the bowman over here did some long range shooting over to those guys over there and they made their saves so Made a big difference. But that's pretty much, uh, and then the uh, magic abusers are wind, yeah, they're powering, up, up, yeah, powering up. Powering up some spells so they can get some goodies going. And that's pretty much it. You guys got anything you want to say other than. No, we just can't wait to get into hand to hand. Yeah, I don't want to get into hand to hand. Carry the rest of that meat off them. Skelly bones. Yeah. Well, we're just jerky. That's all we are. <laughs> we're dry jerky. All right. We'll be back. Oh, hey. Let's roll initiative. Yep. There we go. I got a seven. I did too. Reroll. And what did I get? I got nine. I got 11. All right. So you got it. You decide. Uh, make him move first so we know what he's doing. Yeah. Yep. You go first. Okay. Okay, here we are. We're back. 
Uh, magic phase has not been very kind to the undead. This demon over here launched a vortex into this unit and sucked up four guys. Yay. Not yay. <laughs> but the, then it scattered back out here and it's heading back towards their line. So I'd like to see it scatter more that way. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Uh, my guys marched up. We did energize our, our pikemen here. Uh, troops moved up. Artillery here is looking around and tried to shoot a target over there and missed. And then the big, uh, it's like the crossbowman here, did kill one knight. But the big smash attack was the... Uh, the chariots. Chariots, chariots kind of the bomb. Smashed into this uh, unit. If it wasn't for your fixed armor four. Yeah, I think that unit would have been toast. Yep. Because if I would, my strength attack would have knocked you down to needing twos. And you rolled a lot of They're threes. They're designed for running down peasants. Yeah. Or is that pheasant? Pheasants. Yeah, it's <laughs> pheasants. Lots of flying, running down flying pheasants. But other than that, that was the big attack. We took out two complete stands, and one chariot is looking really bad shape. So, there you go. And uh, so we're just kind of marching into contact. So if it wasn't for the guys rolling around here that move fast, there wouldn't be much going on. Okay, let's roll off. See, initiative. Yep. I got 11. I got a 7. Okay. Boy, do I want to go first. Hmm. This is turn 3? Yep. Right. Into turn 3. Yeah. Right. So, into turn 3, over here, the knights that got smashed into by the chariots decided to fall back and retreat through their own unit. So, they're way back there now broken and i pursued with my chariots and smashed into the knights right there taking that out we're wanting to take over yeah so what happened was the chariots just took out a complete stand and almost a th second one and then over here we smashed one of the chariots smashed into the Foot knights right there and killed one and you get came back and killed, killed or is that no oh that's yours yeah that's mine okay you killed the horse yeah and you did some damage to the uh chariot so it is the chariot is down to half strength so but overall it was pretty much a crunching lunch there and they some crossbow fire took out some foot knights over there. And these guys have marched up. They're eyeballing those guys on the flank right there that are trying to come in. And we had a charge go smashing in and hit this uh, infantry unit there. And it killed three, and they turned around and killed one wraith, mounted wraith. And these guys are kind of marching along. And over here, the interesting thing is this little uh, vortex that's wandering around. Everybody's like, whoa, let's get away from that thing. So everybody kind of fell back out of the area and uh, now just watching that thing wander around aimlessly lost. <laughs> so that is pretty much it. Uh, the combat is, there's some, a little bit of ambiguity. I can't even say the word. Ambiguous. Ambiguous. Yeah. Ambiguity. Yes, there we go. It uh, we basically rolled off, and because his for the previous turn, his vortex was on top of my unit, sucked a bunch of guys in, then it moved out of my unit, and it says if it moves through unit, but well, we just let him suck some more guys in. It doesn't say anything about the starting point, but it says about the ending point, so. Well, any units it contacts. Yeah. yeah. And so it was already in contact. So the question is, does the unit that it starts in, is it affected? Yeah. I decided just to let them do D3 more wounds to me, just uh, as it moved out. So it's, it's 
we spent what 20 minutes trying to figure that one out yes yeah. yeah. we were hashing it out yeah the experience that we got we just figured it out and then went we, to a dice roll <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty much it when it comes to this turn, and let's roll initiative. Okay, you got it, Tim? I got a six. I got a seven. You decide. You want to go first, or you want me to go first? I, I think I want to go first. All right, you're going first. All right, we'll be back with turn four. All right, turn four has gotten really interesting. Over here. The chariots come smashed in and did a number on and broke the calf and they're way back there now. So that's two units of calf this chariots have done a number on. But they got charged in the flank here and then the wraiths turned around and charged them in the flank. So, Lots of charging this turn. Yeah. And so it was like a little bit of everything going on here. It was kind of interesting. And over here, these guys popped over the fence, took a bunch of crossbow bolts and a catapult. To the face. <laughs> and lost a bunch of dudes. And then sitting on the other side of the fence was like, hey, look at that, that's a flank. And then we flank attacked over here, killed a couple guys. And then they flank attacked into the cavalry. And then these guys did an attack, so it was like a four or five way battle. It's the battle of five armies. Yeah. It's just one great big furball. And then the uh, necromancer turned around and raised dead over here. Raised these guys up. And over here, the archers did some killed over here. And then the uh, catastrophic thing that did happen is, you see the vortex is in the middle of that infantry unit. It went through the front infantry unit there, sucked up eight guys. But then when it got to that, it was like it was slated. It just like, uh, I'm full for the moment. <laughs> so the back unit did not take any damage. That was the lucky thing. And his uh, demon lord over there uh, healed himself a little bit. So what? Is that everything? That's that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. So uh, we are looking at. Starting a turn five, let's roll initiative. I got a nine. I got a two. Well, I think I will decide if I'm going to go first, probably. Or not. Not that it really matters at the moment. Well, the only advantage you would have would be this unit right here. Because then you would charge my flank. Yeah. Well, if you... Yeah, you'd get through there. Yeah, because I'm already on the fence. Right there, so... Oh, get off the fence. Yep. Okay, so I think I'm going to go first. So I can protect my flank of my other flank with another flank attack. <laughs> Boy, we've got a lot of flanking going on here. No. Let's get the flank out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back with turn five. Uh, here we go. It's into turn five, and things get kind of interesting. Over here, bow fire hit this unit that was right there is now back here. They broke and ran. Chaos eight dead. Chaos warriors eight died from bow fire, which is like ungodly. I think the dice gods are shining bright today. Yeah. Uh, it's like when you need ones and twos, and I had just gods of hits, and then turn around and nothing but fives and sixes. So it was like ones and twos, fives and sixes. What are the odds? As they flew into the black hole. And over here, we got melee going on here. Uh, he lost four to one. So they still didn't have to worry about a morale test over here. It was a big crunch and munch. Uh, the wraiths the lost some troops. And so did they. The smack attack in here. What, three? I lost three. Three, yeah. yeah. You lost two? Yes. And over here was the big nasty. Uh, the undead swordsman come smashing over. They hit the guys, and then they lined up with each other. And nine, ten. It was ten dead skeletons. So almost half that unit disappeared. We took three with us. It's like, eh. 
over here the rays come champing in here did they're just working their way down the line right there the chariots got charged by the chaos knights and worthless worthless and missed yes it was like wow that was like ungodly like what the heck happened there and then the these uh swordsmen are or spearmen actually or uh no those are swordsmen no, there's you mean my, my guys. My guys. Oh, my guys are lined up for a charge. The spears, or they could get charged and get a double rank. Who knows? Yeah. But uh, the end result, they lost a chariot right here because these warriors chopped it up in little bits, and this chariot over here is about ready to get chomped up. It doesn't have any horses left, and it has basically a crew left. That's it. It's pretty much toast. Chariots are losing, but they've did a lot of damage. Oh, lots of damage. And let's see, where the let's like where did we shoot with the bow? Um, you shot oh. over here. No, you shot over here with the crossbows. Okay. All right. So and you didn't do very good. No, but that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, we're gonna call it right here. That's five turns in. Uh, this, for less than a thousand points, it's a lot of stuff on the table. But we don't have but one hero type on each side. Spell checkers. So you brought your uh, Zinch uh, demon guy in. Or that's actually corn, but, you know, because he's casting spells. No, we're just evil men. Yeah, chaos. Evil. The realm of chaos but i know one thing if i was going to build this army this army definitely needs a second necromancer just to help it out There's having one in the center area but the flank is needs something to help it out bring back some wounds would be doing wonders what do you think you guys got anything you want to add? No. Uh, just the rules does have a lot of holes in it. Yeah. Um, but they're they're workable. A little bit of gaming experience, you can figure it out pretty easy. Um, but it, it's still fun. Yeah. That's about all I got. Well, next time we'll uh, go from there and just see what happens. Oh, I forgot to mention the uh, demon lord. He decided to dispel his own spell that's rampaging through his own <laughs> troops. Uh, all right. We'll be back again sometime for another game.